Hello everyone, Justin here, and today we're going to draw something easy, ghost face screen. So let's just go ahead and start with the face. Let's start with the eyes here. And just kind of a, almost a teardrop shape, but that's curved inward on the one side. And all of this is going to be black. So we're not gonna worry about the lines being perfect. So we'll go ahead and draw the other eye similarly. And again, it's wider at the bottom than at the top. And they don't have to be exactly the same. Here, I'm gonna make this a little bit wider. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and darken that now. Just so those squiggly lines I put in the center aren't distracting. And honestly, you can just start by doing this right off the bat to form the in fact let's just do that we'll go ahead and just mark out the main features so now right here in the middle below the level of the lower part of the eye will be the nose and it's just a upside down U okay and then below that then will be this long tapered oval starting right below the nose right here rounded of course and let's just go ahead and darken that going down and like I said it's going to taper to a narrow point there but it'll, the point the bottom part will still be rounded of course and let's just fine-tune that a bit okay so now let's go ahead and uh, draw the details of them the mask so We'll go ahead and draw an outline around the eye. And it just goes all the way around and it gets a little bit thicker here at the bottom. And then back to the middle. And then same thing here. Let's just go down. And then wider, wider distance here. And then back to the top. So then the hood then will be a curve that goes around from one eye to the other like that so we'll finish off the mask by drawing a line around the jaw here starting right here let's just draw around the bottom of the mouth and then here we'll do the same okay so now let's go ahead and draw the hood so the top of the head would be right about here and we're just gonna go all the way around it all around the head and then curve it in right there and do the same on the other side actually I'm gonna make that a little bit wider down and then in. All right, so let's go ahead and just darken all of this area here. Okay, so now let's draw his shoulders. So the shoulder's gonna go this way. Let's go down and just draw a slight curve first and then over, okay? And then we'll do the same over here. And you can actually add a couple curved lines there to show that there's some folds here and then we go over to the side so let's go ahead and just darken this whole area underneath the face so next let's go ahead and make this more interesting by adding um, a knife with him holding a knife. So just to the left of where we stopped here, let's draw a curve that goes from right about the level with the top of the mouth, right here. And just draw a nice curve going down. And then on the other side, another line, but just a little bit below to meet up with that other curve. So for the blade, we're going to draw a slight curve that goes in and then 
a line that goes in the middle. All right, let's draw the handle. Slight curve at the top and an oval shape around the end of the blade right there. And we'll go ahead and make this a little bit thicker by drawing another line just parallel to it and curving out the ends. Okay, so now we can go ahead and draw in his hand. So the handle would be right here, okay? And his hand would fit around it. So let's just go, let's continue the handle up here actually. Okay, so then his hand of course would be fitting around this thing. So let's go ahead and kind of draw the outline of uh, four fingers and just darken this whole thing. And the back of the hand then goes out and then down like this. So this is the back of the hand, but this all of this will be in dark shadow. So let's just go ahead and darken this whole area. Okay, and right here would be a thumb. So let's just put a thumb right there. Okay, and then we're gonna step off away from the hand, back of the hand here for his sleeve. We're gonna step off from the back of his hand here for his sleeve. Keep darkening this and now our hand then will come away from the blade like so. And then Let's meet up with the shoulder and it goes across just like that. So let's just go ahead and stylize the bottom part here and just draw a cur nice curve. All right, we'll continue this curve around this way. So let me just kind of draw it like this over to the other side and we can fine-tune that area there with our thinner marker just so we don't get into the blade because the thickness of this marker is pretty thick and there's less control all right back to our thin sharpie and let's finish shading that in I'll go ahead and just make these lines just a little bit thicker and maybe taper out, make, make it a little bit thicker toward the tip, stylize it a little bit, and a little bit thicker up here as well. And that's pretty much it. We could stop right there and you'd have a perfectly good drawing of ghost face screen but we're gonna take it a step further and go to our thin pen our micron and add a little shading okay just to make this a little and more interesting so let's go ahead and add some shading right underneath the bottom of this part of the knife because that'll be in shade okay and then add some shadow on this side of the blade maybe just at the top there and then at the bottom and maybe a couple lines right here a little bit interrupted okay let's add some sh shadow here for his face so here's our sh let's look at our shadow line so we're gonna have the light coming from this side for the face so this side of the nose will be in shadow, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a shadow line there and around the nostril, going around the mouth and over to the chin. So let's go ahead and just darken this whole area. And let's just use parallel lines.
Okay, and let's also add some shadow up here. There will be shadow on the left side of the ridge of the eye. And there's also going to be a shadow line underneath the brim of his hood. So let's go ahead and do that. And so we're going to have shadow all the way around here. So let's continue our straight up and down shading lines. We're not going to go for real gradient here. There will be a little bit of a cast shadow from this eye. So let's just go do this. Okay. So just so this, these parts of the eye socket don't look so flat. I'll go ahead and add a couple lines along the left side and here. Okay. And maybe just a little, just a couple lines right here, just so it doesn't look so flat. And that should do it. That's our ghost face scream drawing. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks, and have a great day.